Good morning, it's day 64. We're headed off towards Etna today, uh, about 21 miles. So we're excited to get there, get resupplied and get moving on. Here's our sunrise for today. So we're starting our day off with this stark contrast of burned out forests and all of these green ferns. Here's the real sunrise over the top of that mountain. Well, we're getting up high enough where we're get starting to get some views and my favorite morning sun across the mountains. Do I see that every day? I feel like I do. All right, we're almost to the top of another climb. It's really been up and down today. Lots of up and then lots of down and then back up again. But just beautiful views. So we're on top of the pass and here's the view from the other side. Got a little snowy section up here that we got to get around. I was checking it out. I think I'll probably go down below it. But you can see where the trail just disappears into the snow there. So you can still see Mount Shasta way off in the distance over there. Crazy how far you can see that thing. Well, we got around the snow and we're back to moving again. I'm down around the boulders. Julian went up over the top, like usual. He beat me to the other side, but I'm just slow and steady like a tractor. How's this for some scenery? I'll tell you, the scenery to show you guys is just endless. Not all days are like this, but today for sure is. More great views. So I was just telling Julian that this view, it doesn't even feel real. It feels like something out of a movie set. Like it's painted. I'm not positive, but I think this is the trail right here that leads all the way up and around that corner up there. Pretty steep. So I don't too often give you guys a look uh, backwards, but that trail that I thought was the trail going up is the trail, and you can see it coming, going back down here. So 
So we went up and over that pass, or saddle in the mountain, and now we're going back down the backside. So that's what today is. Today is, it's all about that. Like you go up a mountain, over a saddle, back down the backside, then back up another one. So I'm not sure how many we're doing today. Probably, I don't know, at least four, maybe five. So this would be a section with a bunch of blowdowns. I mean, we've probably already crossed 25, but there's just a ton of them through here. It's this burned out forest and uh, the storms come through and blow the dead trees down. All right, so we're stopping for a little lunch break. It's about 1245 and we have under seven miles to go. I haven't looked it up, but not too, not too bad. This is uh, Mount Shasta out here in the distance with the cloud on top. I tell you, that mountain has just about always got a cloud on top of it. And there's the trail we just came from. Well, we're in our last thousand foot climb. A little over five miles to the trailhead where we need to try to hitch a ride into Aetna. And I'll be very happy to have this climb over with since it's the last one of the day. And then a downhill segment to the trailhead. Almost to the top, not quite. But well, came around the corner, and one of my favorite things, an alpine lake. So four and a half days ago, we were by Mount Shasta, and we've walked that whole mountain range all the way over to here. That's just crazy to me. Hey everybody, guess what? We are coming up on mile marker 1600. It's time to do the gritty again. So I hope you'll join me and do the gritty. Hope everybody's not getting tired of doing that. Still have a lot of them left to do. All right, so there wasn't a uh, 1600 mile marker. It's kind of a blown down section of the trail. So I'm guessing that's why there's not one there. But anyway, that was 1600. Hope you celebrated with me. We're excited to cross that mark. And thanks everybody for all your support. Well, up ahead is the road that we need to try to get a hitch on to get to Aetna. So keep your fingers crossed again. We've been pretty lucky so far. I don't know about this time though. This is uh, not a very uh, busy road. Well, this is what it looks like. We got five hikers and no cars. All right, so we were able to get a ride. We're in the back of a truck. All right, 
streets. Now we're in the town of Etna and going to the city park because that's where we're going to camp at tonight. All right, so this is the wrap up for day 64. We did about uh, close to 21 miles in here today. Um, you saw that we did finally get a hitch, took a little while, uh, but a kind gentleman gave us a hitch and we did give him some money for gas, which a lot of people in these small towns, they'll do that. They'll run out to the trailheads and um, give people rides, um, but they would like you to give them some type of a, a donation, which we were happy to do because it would have been a long walk in here. So tonight we're camping in the city park. Um, I think it's like five bucks to camp here. And then uh, we're gonna resupply tomorrow. Um, they do have a shower here. We had to pay like five bucks to get some tokens to take a shower. So we'll do that. Probably aren't gonna do laundry, except for maybe what we call shower laundry, which is wear our clothes in the shower and just wash them out and then dry them. So uh, we'll see if that happens or not. If if not, we'll just continue to be smelly. We're trying to charge up all our electronics and then uh, probably leave sometime tomorrow around noon. So I hope you guys had a great day. Just awesome scenery. Uh, this last section has been one of my favorites on the whole trail. Um, I just loved, loved the scenery. Northern California is just so beautiful. So anyway, I'll wrap it up for... Uh, Instead of rambling on here, I'll wrap it up for tonight, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night.